Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this session, we'll wrap up concerning the Corel Draw workspace and we're going to take a look at the options for the workspace and we'll take a look at changing the size of our buttons. To start out I'm going to go to the property bar, right click, go to customize, you'll see the flyout. There's another flyout here and I'll change my button size from small to medium. And you can see all of my buttons just got larger. And this is really where I like to work with the medium sized buttons. Now I can also go to Tools and Options. Now this is the Options panel in CorelDRAW 2018. From Workspace, if I expand that, I can go to Appearance and I could change my theme from Light to say Dark. And you'll see that I'll have a dark theme for my CorelDRAW workspace. I'll change that back to Light. I can also change the size. Let's say I want to go to 150%. Now I've got quite a bit larger workspace, but I really don't want to be working this big. But if you had a really large screen monitor, you could set that up to work with a very big or enlarged appearance of your workspace. I'm just going to select cancel here. Now let's review one more thing in the options. Now that we've gone through that, let's say we've got our whole workspace set up the way we want it. We want to save that. We can go back to Tools and Options, go back to the workspace, and here we can export or save our workspace. So if we export that, and let's say we've got something changed or we had to reinstall CorelDRAW or something like that, we could then go and import that workspace back into CorelDRAW. And there's also different workspaces here. You can explore those through the options. I'll select cancel here as well. So those are some of the additional options that you have available with the workspace in CorelDRAW. And as I said, we'll end concerning the workspace and how we can customize it and work with the options in CorelDRAW. And we'll continue in our next session.